let me show you what this meter generator can do. So we made this quick little lift cabin and it have, has three mirror surfaces. One, two, three. Each surface has a mirror surface script on it. The mirror surface script defines how far the rendering can take place. Um, if we lower this to two, now you'll see that the furthest away mirror is farther than two meters away, so it doesn't get rendered. The moment we get closer to it, it starts being rendered. The fade distance and the max blend, they define how quickly it fades. So over a distance of half the max rendering distance, it becomes black. Um, let's change this back to 20. You have the recursive darkening. If we disable this, then the max rendering distance is taken into account to darken everything. So you see how I change this then the distance even from within the recursions is being used to darken linearly darken everything. Um, recursive darkening will always render all the mirrors as long as the nearest mirror is being rendered. If the nearest mirror is within the max rendering distance, then everything inside of it that is being reflected will be rendered up to the maximum recursion limit, which is set not in the mirror surface, but is set in the mirror renderer. This is the maximum recursion depth. So let's get back. Sorry, let's get back to the um, mirror surface. So the recursive darkening curve defines how quickly things get dark and you can either do it linearly or don't darken at all until you hit the furthest mirror. I kind of like to darken rather quickly and then to add a bit of realism let's um, add a bit of green to our mirror bluish greenish like this that looks better. Yeah, I like it. Um, what else? To optimize the first parameter, of course, is the amount of mirrors that need to be rendered and how deep they need to be rendered. We can put it to five here and my PC will happily do it, but don't expect this to run on a mobile VR headset. Um, your frame rate will definitely suffer. Uh, you can perfectly get away with three mirrors and uh, two recursions if your scene is really, really well optimized. Uh, most of the time you won't be rendering three mirrors all at the same time, of course. Um, for VR, I would suggest not going anywhere over two recursions, really, um, and only render two mirrors at the same time. For VR, if you're on, for mobile VR, if you're on PC, then yeah, go nuts. So recursions, and then we have another way to optimize is the obvious um render these layers don't render anything you don't need so you can use layer masks to um, to stop rendering everything and then you can change the screen scale factor so if you lower this you can um, lower the resolution at which the reflections get rendered which obviously makes a big difference in performance but anything below 0.5 kind of doesn't look good enough anymore Okay, um, another nice feature is the material itself. So um, the unlit mirror material 
here. Let's change it to uh, another one. Oh, we're changing this one. So you can use normal maps to do refractions. Um, you can add you can add a texture to it, and inside of the texture, if you if you have an alpha channel, the alpha channel can control where the transparency, no, where the reflection still reflects or where it doesn't. See how we um, mix this with normal map to make it look like it's broken. And this, this starts to look pretty realistically uh, real quick. Okay, so that was a little quick demo. Let's reiterate, you need a mid renderer. The mirror renderer needs all the surfaces that um, will need to reflect each other. Um, you can set the amount of recursions, that is how deep and how many mirrors will um, reflect inside of each other until the layer stops. And then each surface needs the mirror surface script on which you need to define the maximum rendering distance. Okay, that's it. Hope you like it.